Welcome to my new house. Well, here are some of my collections. So I don't collect generic white dishes, but I love the airline logo. My uh, only supersonic Concorde flight. As you can see, all my model collections are heavy big jets, 747 and 380. Uh, has my name on the menu. These are very special memories close to my heart. And then the gold one was when I passed a million two years ago. 22 unique chapters of 747 story. Aviation art wall. The details are second to none. Plane spotting from my own flat. The best view of the whole Dubai airport and beyond. Well, here are some of my collections throughout the years of aviation adventures. I have a lot of flight certificate. They're in the background of the closets. Then in the front here, you can see a lot of nice dining wares of airlines. What I do collect is anything come with a logo on there. So I don't collect generic white dishes, but I love the airline logos. Anything with the airline logo, love it. You can see a lot of shot glasses, wine glasses, Turkish coffee cup from Turkish Airlines, uh, pepper, salt shaker, KOM, Delta Blue Houses, Ethiopian Airlines, salt and pepper shaker, Sri Lankan, Beeman Bangladesh, Royal Air Morocco, Royal Jordanian, Bhutan Airlines, Mahan Air, uh, Middle East Airlines, and this one is also quite nice. It's Mari Miko from Fin Air. So a lot of these cool uh, fine dining dishes, I love them. And um, the certificate behind is also very, very special for me. It is uh, British Airways, my uh, only supersonic Concorde flight from New York to London, just three hour, 18 minutes at 58,000 feet. And this certificate here is also a very important milestone. It was the last ever Singapore Airlines Boeing 747. I still remember that date, 6th of April, 2012. So I collect pretty much everything on the flight. So these are the amenity kits in given in first and business class. Um, this one is actually a special one from Etihad. Uh, when I flew the residence, they actually put my initials on it. Another very special flight certificate happened on 26 October 2007. Guess what happened that day? Right, that was the first A380 commercial flight in the world by Singapore Airlines. As you can see, all my model collections are heavy big jets, 747 and 380, just like my shirts, remembering the big jets in the sky. This one uh, has my name on the menu and on the welcome letter. And then if you remember, this was on board the Ediha residence in the A380. There are also lots of personal memento, like, um, you know, crew fees on board and all the nice Christmas card I received. Everything I received on the flight, I put them here when I came home. I personally appreciate and treasure every single piece of memory. A lot of great manuals on special flights, Qatar Airways, inaugural A350-1000 special menu. On the last ever LL747 flight, a special breakfast menu painted with 747 nose. And uh, how could you not love this one? The Eva Air Hello Kitty. This is Bad Batmaru. Over the years, I attended lots of special aviation milestone events and I actually collect all of the badges. I kept them here and uh, it reminded me those events I've been to. Over here, you see more airplane models. These are very special memories close to my heart because I've flown every single type. Uh, out of this particular one, it's very special. Uh, if you see the front, it's actually a combination of a 747 this side and an Antonov 124 on this side. And then so one is a low wing, one is a high wing, and they have four engines. What a genius came up with a model like this. Combine an Antonov with the Boeing 747, the giant freighter in the sky. This is a Chinese made airplane. It is actually called the ARJ-21. I flew in China last year. And now the next one, hoo -hoo, this one is Bhutan Airlines. You remember the most dangerous approach into Paro Airport. I was in the cockpit observing that crazy approach. And then this one is not KLM, it's actually Xiamen Airlines. I filmed the 787 Dreamliner with uh, sustainable development goals of UN. And then the bigger one model here, this is a beautiful model. A only three engine private jet, Dassault Falcon, latest flagship AX. 
I flown Abu Dhabi to Paris on board inside and I was here. And of course the last one's one of my favorite 787 Beam in Bangladesh. I flown this with a few lucky winners of uh, giveaways together in Bangladesh. Ooh, beautiful airplane model. So here is more trophy that I treasure personally. First one was the YouTube trophy when I passed 100,000, the silver. And then the gold one was when I passed a million two years ago. And who knows what's next. Um, this is a piece of stone. It was uh, painted by a very talented Turkish airline crew to welcome me flying on Turkish Airlines. And they have me uh, dressed up as the uh, Turkish Airline uh, flight attendants. And they say, marvelous piece of stone. This one you probably have seen in my recent video. It was signed by all the A380 crew. This is uh, on my 40th birthday flight on the Emirates A380 to Cairo. Right now there are just too many models to collect. So personally, I collect pretty much everything I like and I have flown on. Um, I remember the good old time on the Thai MD-11, which I flown between Australia and Thailand, also uh, internally in Thailand a lot. And it's just a beautiful livery if you look at nostalgic. Well, that's not all it, that was just the beginning. Now, I'm gonna show you more stuff because I have so much. I'm gonna open up all the shelf here. A Guinness record uh, flight certificate on the Emirates EK 2019 year of tolerance flight uh, with 145 nationalities. And then the captains and the crew were signed. It was an honor to be on board to make history. On the second shelf, I put out all the cute stuff, the, all the toys together, and you can see um, more certificate, Qantas, Project Sunrise, British Airways Concorde, and also a lots and lots of cute toys from aviation. And moving on, this shelf here is all the uh, souvenirs I bought during my trip overseas, and also there are some gift by friends, like the rickshaw from Bangladesh, um, a, box of, a box of saffron from uh, Iran here, very, very precious and uh, some more Iranian art. Guess where this one come from? You probably guessed it right, it's from Turkey. And also uh, some wood um, carving, and this has come from West Africa, from Ghana. So all over the world's treasure, I bring them home and display here. And here we have even more airplane models. Here are mainly special paint scheme. Uh, if anyone will remember, this is the Singapore Airlines Mega Top, or you can call it Fruit Salad, the tropical uh, 747 paint scheme and then of course we have the uh, colorful ANA flying Hanu and then the Qantas 787 100 year anniversary Thai Airways Royal Barge Etihad Manchester City livery um, so a lot more models and then a lot of aviation book you know I hardly have any other book I have only aviation books here um, lots and lots of very interesting book, coffee table book, including my latest, which is the Air 747, which this book now is available for sale. Um, it has really 22 unique chapters of 747 story. All of them are my personal story. Um, in the past 20 years, I have flown 350 747s. Uh, from private 747 SP down to the latest 747-8 and then anything in between as well. So uh, this is a really good collectible book for Christmas. I also published three more books in the past. There are Air, Air 2 and Air 3. Uh, I want to show you especially the original Air book was published in 2008. The cover was shot from a helicopter. I was one of the first person uh, using helicopter to do uh, plane spotting from the air at LAX in the early 2000s. This book pretty much documented the uh, aviation scenes in early 2000s and late 90s, uh, which you can see a lot of airplane has been retired and doesn't exist anymore, and a lot of prototypes and a lot of um, yesteryear aviation. And this book has been really sold out, and thank you very much for all your support. These two special paintings are the memories of me on board the last United 747 Trans-Pacific in 2017. The crew has signed both border of the frame and 
These are my childhood memories. Remember the 747 United coming in, doing the checkerboard landing, IGS approach runway 13. Um, and many people ask me, what's my favorite livery? In my childhood, this United Friendship livery was my favorite, the Tulip Friendship. So perhaps the biggest feature in my house is this aviation art wall. Um, in this wall here, there's actually created by 36 unique airplane painting by airliner arts, Jerome Gardiner. He's the artist. The details are second to none. Let me show you some of them. One of my favorite here is this Cafe Pacific 747. It's flying over the uh, Hong Kong Victoria Harbor. And you can see the Kai Tech, the old Kai Tech airport runways down here. And look at the details. It's just so fine. Moving on here, we see a uh, Emirates 777 departing over Dubai skyline. So you can see the Burj Khalifa here, the tallest building in the world. Beautiful painting. And next, we are flying over the harbor of Sydney. You can recognize the Opera House, the Harbor Bridge, and the downtown Sydney. Beautiful painting, V Australia 777. Abu Dhabi is the next destination with the Etihad 787-10 over Abu Dhabi skyline, where I used to call home in Abu Dhabi from 2011 to 2017. And moving on, the next destination is over the Golden Gate Bridge at San Francisco. And one of the last United Airlines departure, Alex SFO, with the skyline behind. And in general, you can see a lot of great painting over Antarctica, over the New Zealand Alps, and over Haneda. So every painting here is great because it has the characters, the landscape of that city that tells you a story with the beautiful airplane in the picture. And I knew you were coming, so I rolled out a blue carpet to welcome you. And guess where this blue carpet come from? It come from an airplane, of course. And everything on the letter here is all cut out from the airplane carpet. Well, actually, I have a lot more stuff inside my closet in the bedroom. Uh, some of the outstanding item is this one I always remember. Turkish Airlines, the crew were so delightful. They decorated and painted the pillow on my flight to New York. And look at this beautiful Istanbul skyline here. They actually have the list of all the crew on my flight, so I will always remember them. Talk about the pillow, we have two from Hello Kitty EVA Air. Actually, I have a full closet of amenity kits here. They're all packed away. And every time when I come back, I don't use them. I take them off the plane and I put them here. So there's almost every airline's represented here. And here I have probably 20 airline pajamas they've given out in first and business class. So we have some playing cards, some baseball caps. And you can see here lots of these, um, you know, removed before flights, all these little tags. So, and a lot of stickers as well. So I've pretty much got everything here. Perhaps you've seen enough of my collection by now, but let's go outside the balcony, see some real airplanes, shall we? Oh, look, there's a very special airplane. The first A330 Neo 800 series of Kuwait. I just love the view here. I can never get sick of the view looking over the entire DXP. And now I can see an A380 start to push back and taxi. So you know what I'm doing? Plane spotting from my own flat. There is the A380 about to take off. I actually know a better place than this. Let me take you there to show you. Here we are, guys. This is the best view of the whole Dubai airport and beyond. We're on the 77th floor of my building right now. Look at this. You can see the entire Dubai International Airport right under my foot here. It's amazing. You see everything and beyond Dubai as well. <laughs> 